All right, guys, welcome back in. Hmm. Oh, it's you. I was reading the papers and I saw your picture. And then I saw that picture on the TV news. Maybe seven chan message boards after I looked you up. I'm sorry, I was curious. I remember meeting you and I couldn't believe it. It's like I met a celebrity or something. Oh, of course, it's not good or anything, but you know. You never know who you meet in this business. Everyone always seems so unassuming. I mean, that's not to say any of it. What's your fault or anything? Okay, so the message board are pretty bad. There's a lot of bad stuff on there. Like, wow, pretty wise stuff. Are you done? All right, sorry. Yes. Hello again. What's going on with the wife there here? It's full. Why are the chair blossoms out? It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it's a species of chair tree. The Prunus subhitola, Altumnus, that sometimes bloom twice a year. At least that's what it says online. Who would have thought we have them here in Kamakura? Well, I say Kamakura. But they always seem to be in this part of town. Lucky here. A cherry blossoms tree that blooms in fall? I've never seen it. Are you sure you've got your facts straight? It seems impossible. Impossible? Do you doubt my botanic expertise? Impossible would be if the seasons start reversing themselves, don't you think? Yeah, it certainly feels that way. Huh, you say something? Why the gloom face? Anyway, I hope you take advantage of the weather and go for a picnic or something. The blossoms are so peaceful. Don't they put your mind at ease? No, oh, I can get out of here by clicking that. My grandmother. Is my grandmother still at that house near here? You want to see her? Well, she's still around, I suppose. I see the comings and goings of all the people around here. I don't see her getting out much, though. Oh, yes, that reminds me. When you were last here in April, did she, I don't know, give you something? I'm not accusing you, of course. I just heard that there was an important artifact that went missing last spring. Kawana is old and losing her foot could is a bit member. She gave it to you by mistake. Can you remember anything like that? Maybe I should tell this guy about the mask. Oh, so you do know about it. That's a relief. Wouldn't want to think something so important was stolen by some riff rap, right? So do you know when they will return it? You'll have to ask HQ about that kind of thing, sorry. I did. I contacted them several times. They said they didn't know anything about it. They said they didn't have it. You don't think they're lying, do you, detective? They wouldn't lie about something like that. Something so precious to this town, would they? I'm sure whoever you talked to was mistaken. Uh, that must be it. I'll keep trying. Enjoy your time in Kamakura. Where's Mai? I'm looking for my Kawana. Have you seen her? Oh, you're looking for Mai again, huh? Are you sure that's a good idea? She was pretty upset about the happenings the last time you were here. I mean, I've barely seen her leave Kamakura since then. Maybe it's best you leave her alone. It's important I talk to her. I suppose she would be at the shrine that's down the street like usual. Must be very important to this town. Please don't upset her too much. We all want everything to go back to normal. It's a little too early to think about living. I need to speak with my first. Yes, of course. I was thinking that the lift Kamakura thing is option for the guy. Not us. Can we enter? Go away, no visitors. I don't see anything here. We'll have to go straight to the shrine. And there she is. Cherry blossoms fell gently at my feet as I approached the Kawana family shrine. In front of me was my Kawana, still dressed in the outfit of the shrine maiden. She had seen me approach and stood there frozen and terrified, the same helpless look on her face as when she had a knife to her throat months before. This time it was me she was terrified of. We were the only two people at the shrine, yet I couldn't shake the feeling of being followed. A familiar presence watching from the shadows. 
Oh, what the hell? Okay, let's not choose to kill her. Why? No, I won't do it. Why now? Why her? I don't have to do what you say. I'm not a puppet. I can choose. You, the detective from before. Why are you just standing there? Is it over? I'm fine. Sorry to scare you. I'm here to talk to you. See, I... I've never been good at apologies. I'm sorry for everything I put you through. I've been ready to talk to you ever since that day. I should have come sooner. You're here to apologize now. I don't hear from anyone in six months. The police only talk to me once and then everyone's here started avoiding me and acting like it never happened. I guess that makes me the last person you want to see right now. After that day, I'm sure some police came by and told you that I was only following procedure. It was procedure, but that's bullshit. Police in this country don't go around shooting people. I didn't feel myself and lost control, putting you at risk. Sounds fake to say I lost control at such a crucial time, I bet. But that's the truth. The truth is strange, isn't it? The cherry blossoms, I mean. It's silly, but every time someone comes here and says how beautiful they are, I get so mad. It's like they don't understand my feelings at all. But that's selfish, huh? It's not like on everyone to suffer along with me. I imagine the only other one who understands that is you, detective. Your name is Ido, right? It's so quiet here. It's hard to imagine something like that day in April it really happened in a place so peaceful. God damn it, the fucking game and the freaking crappy soundtrack there. I don't like that. It's so damn irritating to the ears, but it did. I know that you and your partner were only doing what you could to save me, but I wish I could have, could have helped. I felt so helpless. At least you told me the truth, thank you. You know, I asked grandma about the mess. There were had a girl out and she did not know everything, anything, but it was a lie. I found one of her journals at the shrine and she wrote that the mask was important and had to be hidden away. <coughs> Why would she lie to me? I'm sick of everyone always trying to protect me by covering everything up. Grandma hasn't been the same that day either. She shuts herself up in that old house and mumbles to herself about darkness and purity. I'm so worried about her. My gut tells me that the mask has something to do with it. I'm sorry, listen to me rumbling away. I bet you don't care about any of that. The truth is I think you're right but the mask having something to do with all this strangeness. I actually came here to ask you about it. You think so too? Then let me help you. I don't know anything, but maybe Takeshi does. Oh, sorry, Takashi is my brother, sorry. I used to live here in Kamakura with me and Grandma, but he left the first chance he got. We talk on the phone all the time, but he refused to come back and visit. I get the feeling he knows something I don't. He won't even tell me about how my parents died. Where does your brother live now? It's an instructor at a kendo dojo in Asakusa in Tokyo. And he's a big shot in the kendo world. It sounds like it will be a good place to start. Do you think he will speak to me? We can try. It's never been very good at opening up. Up to strange though. It's worth a shot. Thanks for helping me, Kai. My. Now we can get the hell out of here. I made the right choice resisting the call of the goddamn mass. Anyway. My investigation up to that point led me to believe that finding Takashi Kawana would be difficult in Confog, but that couldn't be further from the truth. Turns out his Ken do Dojo was well regarded as a popular training spot for a few national champions and several of the city's police officers. The latter made me nervous. The information I was asking for was sensitive and I didn't want to worry about my investigation finding its way back to HQ. A few misfire questions could end up with officers knocking on my door or worse, Yukimura himself calling me up. I had to be cautious. Inside is the interior of a traditional tea shop, but it doesn't look like anyone's been there in recent. Hey, 
Hello there, would you be interested in buying some of the finest takoyaki in Tokyo? This isn't the cheap stuff, you buy the food stand at the festival. They'll make you questions everything you know about octopus in ball form. We can send you to that sales pitch. Sure, I'll take some. Wow, you're right. This is maybe, this is maybe the best takoyaki I've had. Thank you, Miss. Best takoyaki on all the islands. Who are these guys? Tourists like me. I can hear them speaking English. But my English isn't so great, so I doubt they'll be of much help. But I wonder what they're talking about. Let's try it. I love that. Is there something we can help you with? No, I don't speak English but Japanese. Your Japanese is perfect. As a college professor, if it wasn't, I'd probably be out of a job. I'm not a college professor, but I work in the Japanese software company. So I'd be in a trouble too. Don't look at me, I just live here. Why not in Tokyo? In the suburbs. Whoa, I think you guys must speak Japanese better than I do. I mean, sorry, I just... I never would have thought... Would you prefer to speak in English instead? No, I mean, no, please. Japanese is fine, sorry. I wasn't meaning to be nosy. I guess I don't see people wearing... You cut out this late in the year. Is it a festival or something? No, we come to Asakusa every year and the you cut out became part of the tradition after a while. Guess it makes us stand out more than we already do, huh? The not tradition, Tony. Admittedly, my legs are a little cold. Ask about Takashi's dojo. You guys come here every year. You must know the era pretty well by now. I'm looking for a candle dojo where Takashi Kawana walks. It should be in this area. Kawana, why does that name seem so familiar? All oh, right, he's that candle instructor at the dojo right behind us. People say he's some kind of prodigy. I wouldn't be surprised if he became a master in time. Supposedly, he's very particular about who he trains. I suppose he doesn't want to waste his time with people who aren't serious. Makes sense when you think about it. With how good he is, he must get a ton of wonderful candle masters coming to him. Seems like he trains a lot of police too. In the time we've been standing here, we have seen a few coming in and out. Well, then I think he's still in his 20s. For well, someone so young, he must be under a lot of pressure. No kidding, I've heard talk about the intern department of candle tournament. It has become a matter of pride for the different regional departments. I wish my work in martial arts competitions between departments. Nothing would work out the unspoken tensions between me and my boss quite like a good smack to the jawline, haha. <laughs> Police fighting each other, huh? That must be pretty brutal. I mean, I guess police in Japan don't really have to use boss all that much, though. Yeah, anyway, how do you know so much about the dojo, anyway? I mean, I live in Shinagawa, and I don't know anything that specific about it. Um, you see, it says so right here in the dojo's flyer. Yes, it was out here about 10 minutes before you came handing them out. Kind of seemed a little prickly, so we didn't talk to him, though. So I admit, it would have been much cooler if we had known that off the top of our head, but we're glad we were able to help you regardless. Makes me feel a little silly not trying to learn more about him from a flyer, considering he trained so many police. I'm surprised I never heard of him until now. He's associated with the police somehow. Huh? Who? Me? No, of course not. I'm an investigator. Investigator, see? Like. A private detective. Listen, if anyone comes by asking about female detective, just... Sorry, I don't speak Japanese, right? Exactly. I appreciate it. Anyway, I should get going. Sorry to bother you. Thanks for the information, guys. Our pleasure. Good luck at the dojo. Let us know if you learn any candle tricks. The men in the department always puff out their chests when they talk about the candle competitions like it was going to impress me or something. Never paid it much attention. Still, it's strange that someone related, however friendly, to the mask has yet another tie to my old life. Takashi Kawana seems like an interesting guy, vicious and not keen on strangers. At least I didn't have to use my inks. That would have been a disaster. Bra 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 bra. Oh, this must be the dojo right here. This looks like the dojo I was looking for. It has a very rich, you know, aesthetics. Who are you? Am 
my name is Detective Ada. Huh. I recognize him from the paper. This is about mine, right? I have a few questions about your family. Ma said you could help me. She did, did she? How did you get that out of her, I wonder? I'm sorry, Detective. I don't know anything about my family that would be able to see you. I haven't even asked you anything. Good. Let's keep it that way. At any rate, I'm busy. You can see yourself out. And I can't do shit. Well, that didn't go well. Maybe Mai would know how to soften her brother up. Wait, what's up with this? Uh huh. T sharp again. Okay. Let us kiss. Uh, we can go to Capuchico, right? We have to go back to Kamakura. I can't choose anywhere else. I think I managed to find your brother. He didn't exactly seem happy to see me. Yep, you found big brother alright. He's been protective of me ever since we were little. I know I'm probably overstepping my boundaries, but would he be willing to come talk to him? I don't think he will tell me anything on my own. You want me to help? You know, seeing you again really got me thinking. I decided that even if everyone's trying to hide it, I can't sit here and ignore what's happening. I need to understand why my family has been acting so strangely. Even my own brother is keeping me in the dark. I'm sick of it. Sure, I'll come with you either. If I went alone, he would probably pat me in the head and send me on the way. But if you're there, I'm sure he'll tell me about my parents, the mass and everything. Are you sure that's what you want? Sometimes not knowing is better, Mai. No, no more stupid little Mai. I'd rather be hurt and know than happy and ignorant. But before we go, let's check on Gremlin. These days, if she doesn't know where I am, it can really set her off. Alright, we'll make a quick stop at the house. Thanks, my. Well, wait a fucking second, what's this? A dead crow lays in the middle of the street. The small body is in a bad state of decay. Covered in dry blood, the maggots have begun eating. And it's remain. I said no visitors, leave me alone. Grandma is me. Please open the door. My oh my suit. Please come in. Yes, come in. This can be problematic. Wait, what is she doing here? It's okay, Grandma. She's here to help. Help? Huh, don't make me laugh. You were supposed to help me remember. I felt something and you were going to free me from the past. Free you? What are you talking? Are you talking about the mask? Do not discuss that horror thing here. No matter how far you go, I can still feel it, like needles in my skin, dragging me to it. In my dreams, I can still that place. See that place. Have you seen it too, detective? A dark place where those we have lost reside. I'm so old and have wasted so much time, and yet the pain won't go away. My poor Abigo. I miss her so much. If only I could have found her. Abigo, you mean mom? Find her. What are you talking about? She's gone. Taka, she told me she died after I was born. Yes, of course. You shouldn't be asking about such things, my. If it weren't for this woman, you'd be safe at the shrine. No, Grumman, you were wrong. I'm not safe. Why, everyone lies to me. I'm going to see Takashi. If you don't tell me the truth, he will. Ma, listen to yourself. You must stop. Opening the door to the past will solve nothing. Ever since you were little, I've done what I could to protect you and your brother. Please don't go down this path. You look so much like her, you know. Your mother. And you, detective, perhaps my granddaughter is too naive to see it, but you can't hide from me. I know what you've seen, what you think you are about to do, but keep my family out of it. We have suffered enough. You don't know anything about me and besides, I'm not the one hiding things from my family. Tell me, do you know the story of Izanaki and Izanami? Grandma, this again, I'm sure Edo's not interested in hearing some old myth. Really, we should get going. Stay right there. Though I have told you this story so many times, you don't seem to grasp 
It's important. I think it would be abuse to this woman to hear it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I have heard of this story before in an anime. Or maybe some other games. Izanagi and Izanami were the first of the gods known to us as the Kami. In legend, it was the drops of ocean water that fell from Izanagi's jewel spear that created the islands of Japan. When they destined to our lands, they brought their love and devotion with them to the realms of mortal. Izanagi and Izanami had me and children, the deities of nature that inhabit the natural world all around us. For a time, life was peaceful. However, as Izanami gave birth to Kakasuchi, the Kami of Fire, she was horribly burned and suffered mortal wounds. As she lay dying and faced with her immortality, new Kami were born from her suffering. Kami that hid away from her life. When Izanami passed, Izanaki was inconsolable in, in his rage. He struck down the child that killed his love. Unable to accept her death, he ventured deep underground to Yomi no Kuni, the land of the dead. Half blind and distraught with grief, he wandered in, in the darkness until he finally heard the voice of his beloved. Though unable to see her face, Izanaki begged Izanami to return with him. Izanami replied that she would try and ask the gods of Yomi no Kuni permission to return to the land of the living. Incapable of restraining his desire to see his love, Izanaki says he calm a light in order to look upon his lost love. What created him was the cypher decaying, warm eaten face. In horror, Izanami attempted to flee Yomi no Kuni. Izanami, in rage, sent dark spirits to pursue him and drag him back to her. After narrowly escaping, Izanagi sealed the entrance to Yomi no Kuni with a great boulder. So you see, it is our mortality that brings suffering into the world, yet residing it is a perversion to the natural order. Being mortal means we must accept that we cannot control life and death. Detective, some things cannot be changed, and some doors should never be opened. You must stop. Grandma, you're talking about stories and myths. We're talking about real things. The story may be a myth, but there's truth within it. Can't you see that? The things you pursue, they're unnatural, unclean. Heed my warning. Stop this foolishness. I won't let you involve my family any further. First, those bastards take my amico, then you show up. Perhaps I'm being punished for my sins. My coming, come here, Mr. Chan. We'll skip you away from her. No, Grandma, I tell you already. I'm going to see Takashi. I'm an adult now. You can't tell me what to do anymore. No, you can't. You can't go. We must protect our family from outsiders, my. You are reopening old wounds. Leave us alone. Let us heal. Heal. You think I want to heal? Can't you see how much of these lies have hurt me already? You are the one wounding me, Grandma, not Ido. You are delusional. You tell stories about calming spirits. Takashi might hide things from me too, but at least it makes sense. This time he's going to tell me the truth about everything. Everything about mom and dad too. No, stop. I'll tell you how your parents, how they... You can't, can you? You have never told me how they died. The reason always changed. Every time I ask, no, my please, you must listen. They might be listening. They still are there, and they haven't forgiven me. Can't you see? Hey, what are you talking about? You're insane. I'm sorry I spoke to you that way. I'll be back to check on you soon. Don't go, please. Goodbye, Grandma. Why does that story sound familiar? I think I play that on the another visual novel game. But I totally forgot its name already. But it's recent, about two or three months ago. I'm sorry, she's gotten much worse since you last saw her. No, it's fine. Why do you think she tells us that story? About Izanagi. I don't know. It was kind of creepy, wasn't it? She was talking about like she really believed it. Come on, let's go see Takashi. You may doubt it now, but it's real. Or some parts of it. Whoa, where do you think you go? Mine are living, whatever. Oh, why well, you can't? I got a call from my grandmother and she, she says she's having her issues, so she has to stay. I don't ask what they were. I don't want to be caught fainting on my ship again, but it must be bad if she called. Ma is an adult. Her grandmother can't get over here. Let's go. 
No, you don't understand. You're not going anywhere. Is there any way for me to get out of this situation? You know, what are you doing? Is it going to be okay? We'll be up again in a few hours. Why did he stop us like that? He has never done that before, so you shouldn't have done that. He'll be fine, let's go. Wait, we can't just leave him here. What if he's hurt? My, let's go. He might not be the older one who wants to stop us. But fine, let's go. <laughs> Man, there should have been another way. But I was too quick to think about it, and I just punched the poor guy in the face. Oh well. Why? What are you doing? Here? This should make you come. It's not like a Takashi. It was my idea. I asked her to come to talk with you, but you sent her away. This woman almost got you killed. You expect me to cooperate with her. Surely, if you need to talk to me, you can come yourself. My sister doesn't need to be involved. No, if I came alone, you just evade all my questions like you always do. Besides, there's something I need you to see. See what? What are you talking about? Why did you get that? Put it away. So you do know what it is. I knew you were hiding something from me. That's not true, I wasn't hiding it. It's not something you ever need to know about besides why is she carrying it in the first place. Wait, don't change the subject. This isn't about either. Ma, I understand that you're upset with me. We should talk about this another time. Furthermore, that mask has nothing to do with you. You're wrong. Back in April, when Ma was held at night point by another girl, it was this mask she was after. A mask your family is connected to. Looking for it? I suppose I've been a fool to think I could keep the truth about our family past away with you. The past? Does this have to do with mom and dad? Yes, and so much more. I first saw that mask when I was a child, before you were born. The truth is, it belonged to a cult called Kamen Kai, of which our parents were members. A cult? You're kidding. How did your parents get mixed up in that? I know how it sounds. I find it hard to believe myself. They were a group led by a guru named Tomi Tokimasa, who promised a simpler life away from the hypocrisy and falseness of city life. Okay, sounds pretty familiar to me. We had those stories about those cults before, all around the world. This is another similar case, it seems. Our parents both had master's degrees and my mother was on her way to earning her PhD. They chose to give up their lives and their careers to follow some mystics and live on a compound instead. The Kamenkai were one of many such groups back then. I was a child and I didn't understand, but thinking about how parents were deceived and that, and what they put me and my through is unforgivable. The mask was on the compound. But for what purpose or what they believe they could do, I don't know. Do you think there are any members of the Kamenkai left who would know? No, you see, there are no surviving members. They died, all of them, including our parents. I'm sorry, I don't remember much about it. One night, Grandma came into the room while we were sleeping, saying we had to go. The compound was in the woods, so it was dark and I could barely see. She kept charging for with my arms when we dragging behind. When we were back in Togo several days later, Grandma told me that our parents were dead. She didn't seem sad. It was as if she expected it. The government sense of much of what happened, so I was never able to learn how to die. Me and grandma didn't speak of it. Ignoring it as in my childhood and everything that happened, those words was all a bad dream. If it weren't for her, we'd probably be dead with our parents, but ignoring it could, couldn't erase the anger I felt towards them. I wonder if they even care what might happen to us. As a high schooler, I spent more time trying to find out about the Kamenka than I did studying. I thought that if I could understand why my parents so willingly gave up their lives and abandoned us, I would stop feeling so betrayed. But I was wrong. Nothing I found gave me any peace. Mom and Dad died as part of some cult. I don't believe it. That's true. I'm sorry. I didn't tell you sooner. I guess that in hiding it from you, I was able to hide all my feelings as well. I think for Grandma, it was too painful to talk about. I believe she took possession of the shrine in order to live a simpler life. We have to keep it secret. 
There's no way we could live a normal life with the stigma of the command card attached to us. I suppose keeping that secret hurt us both really. For me personally, I can't keep some measure of control over my life again. My grandma, who made a choice to leave her only daughter behind, she always seemed to carry the guilt with her. She sat going out at night, babbling about how she was looking for mom. When she came home, she would have a rotten sting on her clothes. I was too scared to confront her, so I tipped off the police. They found her wandering in the sewers, holding nothing but the mask. The same one from the cult compound all those years before, and the one you hold now. I was shocked when they gave it to me. I hadn't seen it for so long, and all the unpleasant memories from my past came flooding back. That was when I decided to live Kamkura. It was the only way I could move on with my life. That doesn't account for how the mass ended up with your grandmother in the first place. I don't know how she got it. It seemingly appeared out of thin air. Or maybe someone gave it to her. She never said. I left the mask with her. It always made me uneasy. I had a strange aura about it. Wait, Grandma was looking for Mom in the sewers. I don't remember any of this. You were in the dorms to just go the time. Grandma's strange behavior was part of why I insisted on you going to those private schools away from Kabakura. I couldn't drag you into the madness of our past. We parted ways without ever speaking of it, and she was much better by the time you returned to Kamakura. Detective, what exactly is it that you're looking for? Surely our family history isn't abusive to you. I assume you have heard about what happened to my partner. This mask was there again when he died. It's more than an ornament. I need to know where it came from. <clears throat> if that is true, then I want to help. Your partner, he seemed like a nice person. No, Ma, you have helped plenty, but I had to do this on my own. It was right. I apologize for not telling you all this sooner. But you can't be involved in something so dangerous. I already thought I would lost you that day at the shrine. I won't forgive myself if something happened to you now. Alright, thank you for finally telling me the truth, Takashi. I have back for now. I hope that you remember that I'm your sister. I may not remember the same thing you do, but still family. I'll see you guys later. Thank you for your help, Mai. You're right, Mai. I'll come visit you soon. It looks like she's gone. Mai's not here. There's no need to be coy. No doubt, taking possession of that mask has taken its toll on you. Even in the brief time I was in contact with it, I felt an immense darkness behind it. I had such strange dreams and such things I never heard dream up on my own. There was always an unusual air about it that, that I couldn't stand to be around. Maybe lying to my again makes me a hypocrite. All I know is I don't want her getting hurt. Like you said, I don't believe that the mask is simply wooden paint. Though I doubt anyone else would believe us. No one ever did, except for one man. On this street, there's an old tea shop. Perhaps you saw it on the way in. An old historian named Yashu Hisa is said occasionally. He was the only one who ever acknowledged what I said about the mass as true. If you're looking for information on the mass, he may be the best person to ask. I never pursued the topic with him, but I speak with him occasionally on other topics. This man is a lot of valuable information. Hopefully, he can shed some light on what. It really is. I hope so, but please, detective, be careful. <clears throat> the tea shop. Yep, that tea shop. I saw that. But we could not get inside earlier. But now we can. Welcome. Come in. Do sit down. No need to be so formal and stand there like a statue. How can I help you? Are you Yasu? He's... Uh, Takashi told me to come speak with you. Oh, and how is Mr. Kawana? Still prickly as ever, I suppose. I've always found him to be wise beyond his years, though perhaps not by choice. I digress my apologies. It's the quirks that come with old age, you know. What does Mr. Kawana think I can help you? I'm looking into a few things related to the Kamenka. The group is from got mixed up. Ah, a more difficult answer than you might expect. You see, there are two groups that share that name. The first, as you know, is a religious group formed by the Guru Tomi Tokimasa. The second is an ancient order, over a thousand years old. What's that you're holding? I was told it's related to the Kamenkai, the newer one, and that you could tell me about it. Now that explains that many things, child. The fire of look in your eyes, one. I imagine you have many, many questions. Masa, interesting, are they not? They're meant to be a disguise, 
and yet a mask cannot lie or contort itself to hide the truth. In that sense, it is a mask that is more truthful than the human face we hide underneath them. I wonder how you came to be in possession of an object with such a dark history. I think it might be related to a missing person, but I don't know anything about it beyond that. Ah, but that itself is the essence of history, layers upon layers of personal connections that continuously peel back their root. Relics like the one you hold often take unusual roots to where they end up. Relic, if it's from the Kamen Kai cult from the 90s, then I would hardly call it a relic. Misguided and deceptive as it was, Toki Masa was no fool. In order to gain new followers, he needed to give his cult historical legitimacy. He collected obscure objects and gave the meanings that he could control in order to manipulate his followers. The mask was what he chose, along with the name of the group that created it. Interesting, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. Only I guess I was hoping you could tell me some other things about it. For instance, like why... Now that I'm about to say it out loud, it sounds silly. I'm sorry I bothered you. Don't be silly. You wonder, for example, why holding the mask seems to take you to another place. Or perhaps you, why you can see variations that don't seem real. Why you feel a strong will exerting itself on you. Oh yes, I know all about those things too. How would you know about that? When Tokyo Masa was in possession of it, he believed it would show him a path to the realm of the gods. He wrote extensively on the subject. Though unlike most, I don't discount such phenomena as the ravings of a madman when the phenomena repeats itself. Do you to look into the inky blackness and see familiar shapes in the shadows? Not shadows. I see and hear people who are supposed to be dead. I find things I couldn't possibly have found otherwise. Most interesting, tell me, detective. Oh, apologies. Do you mind if I call you that? I don't remember telling you I was a detective. Ah, oh, my mistake. You must forgive me. I slip of the tongue. I believe it was the way you carry yourself. Determined investigators such as yourself have such a sense of purpose in their mannerisms, you see. And you seem rather determined to get to the bottom of whatever it is you chase. Tell me. That's me telling you that your experience and not an illusion provide you any uh, provide you any level of comfort. I'm not sure, but I do feel something. Maybe hope. It's like I finally got a foothold up on solid ground. Ah, yes. Knowledge is the light in dark place. It is, is it not? The thing a relic of such import would end up with a detective. Do you mind if I ask you something? Which do you believe our lives controlled by fate? Premeasures, threats that determine our deeds or which in our ends the minute we come into existence? Or conversely, is our threat subject to the chaos inherent in our universe instead? Does it change according to our deeds and that which happens to us seemingly by accident? Do you believe it is fate or chance that decides which threats of life are cut short and which I follow? Yes, of course. Maybe you feel your life has been somewhat out of your control as of late. Control, huh? To be honest, I don't feel like I've had much of that since the mask came to me. You said that the mask was made, of, made by the old Kamenkai. Why? Confusing me can't be the purpose it was made for. Ah, yes, and more complicated answers than you might have wishes for. Indeed, it should come as no surprise that the creation of such a mysterious object is equally enigmatic. Perhaps you could do me a favor. No, it's in relation to this very talk. An important book has gone missing from my shop. If you could retrieve it for me, I feel I could, it could shine a great deal of light on the subject. What kind of book? A book with a missing variety. I'm sorry, I just, it concerns the mass bearer. The mass bearer? That's me, right? Although you carry that, the nuts make you a bearer. All become clear when the book was returned to me. Sounds easy enough. Where can I start looking? Oh, you need to go far. The man who has it is right outside this building. In fact, as I said, it's not much of an errand, but I also cannot lift my shark. It's right outside. This won't take long. I'll be right back. <clears throat> Who's the man? Right outside your shop again. This guy is the only one I can think of. 
No, to shop next door. Is that place closed down? Close that camera. What else do you know about? Poor construction on this one, but I think it might be owned by the candle instructor from the dojo down the street on the car. I've been being the only one I ever see in there. You might not believe me, but I saw myself in there chatting with the way to himself. Probably, possibly, he's a little nut. Then again, it might be some super awesome candle kind of meditation technique. Oh man, why didn't I think of that before? Next time, I ought to ask him for some pointers instead of spying on him, eh? Went through the Grub Van, is that his original champion or something, and has trained some of the best. Arts, of course, trained him too, so he must be good. Maybe he's not so crazy after all. Speaking of which, I have a bit of crazy questions for you. I know you said it was close, but do you know anything about book taken from there? Maybe recently. I was glad to believe you. What? Um, oh jeez. Now go on. Like I said, the place has been empty for years. But you know I spent a lot of time outside, it, and half of the time the door's quite open. So one day, a few months back, I decided to take a look around. Nothing suspicious or nothing. I was just curious and all. And all. It's all. Hey, curious. Said it killed the cat, right? Anyway, it was all dust in. Oh, and there was all sorts of weird stuff laying around. So, I might have taken a little souvenir. I mean, it wasn't super old or anything, so I figured no one would miss it. Besides, it wasn't for me. It was for my kid brother. That guy can get deep in the dump sometimes, so I tried to be on standby for when that happens, you know? So, I figured a little gift to cheer him up. And back then, he was going through some particularly tough times. His bitch wife, pardon my language, miss, I slept, had left him. And taking their kid daughter with her. He still doesn't talk about it. Like he's in denial or something. Whoops. Got off track again. I was heading to visit him with the you know garden book when I was when I get this phone call saying he was in the hospital. He OD on expensive sake and sleeping pills. And got that idiot decided to do it at the Bahayos with the door unlocked. A customer came in and called an ambulance if it weren't for that. I'm not sure if he would still be here. That's quite a story. Sounds to me like he wanted to be found. Yeah, I think so too. I think he was trying to ask for help in his own way. In any case, I took the book to him while he was in the hospital. I tried to show him that even when he was at his lowest, there was someone out there trying to do something nice for him, you know? I think it helped for me anyhow. As soon as the doctors let him leave, he went right back to that toxic little bar. I hope he's okay. He's got issues. But he's my little brother and I worry about him. He's, he's been not answering. He has not been answering my phone calls recently. Originally, my brother's bitch ex wife, Sorokin, had the brilliant idea to put his skill to work in a cheap part of town. Despite that, he's holding it on to it with everything he's got. The place slowly bankrupting him, but he won't let it go. All he has to do is sign some paper and move on, but he can't. Something about it has his claws sank deep into him. I've been trying to get him to join me in my business for years. He's a great chef and we could make a killing. Maybe it's not the same as owning a whole bar, but serving passes by. And getting some sunshine is good for the soul. Plus, food stands are doing really well abroad, I hear. Much better than wasting away Sinjuku at any rate. Sinjuku. Yeah, in a slimy little side street. Anyway, if that was important to you, he's probably still got it at his place. You want the address? Wait, I knew you looked for me. Your brother's dies, alright? You know him small? Whoa, what's probably the smile on my face that threw you up? Tell me his brother Haruto says hi. While you added to him that Takoyaki stands, I still the future of the cousin. And to get his butt over here. Uh huh. I'll do that. Thanks for all your help. Now we know where to go. We know exactly where to go now. Oh, we're going back to this place. Sinjuku. Hi Ayumi, how can I help you today? Hey dice so how are things? Uh you know same old same old. Funny thing, I met your brother while I was in Asakusa today. Haru, you met him. What are the chance? Who knows? It was pretty random. Who would have thought so? And he's still selling takoyaki that stand, they didn't say anything. 
is said to remind you that Takoyaki stands as a future person and that you should go and help him. Uh -huh. Yeah, you talk to Haruto, all right. Oh, it's the Artemis sad guy. I shall have a favor to ask you. Do you still have the book your brother gave you a few months ago? Huh, the only thing that guy gives me a headaches. Not sure if I can help you, Ayumi. He said he gave it to you when you were in the hospital. Oh, I... What makes you think I was in the hospital? I don't even go to the hospital for checkups, haha. Uh -huh. Besides, that doubt springing me all stop all the time. Always trying to drag me kicking and screaming over to where the grass is sprinted. This would have been more recently. After a rough patch. Maybe it was stupid to come and ask. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. That eater always running his mouth. Freaking traitor, eh? Those were just some hard times, nothing serious. I just drank too much, it's all. I'm sorry, detective, but I don't want to talk. Alright, I understood. I'm not here today. They got bad memories, Daiso. Thanks. You said you were looking for a book, right? Truth is, I don't remember a book. I do remember Harold to give me, giving me an old magazine though, back in the hospital. It was one of the ones I used to read when I was younger. When things weren't quite so complicated. Wait there a second. I may have it in the storeroom still. Dang, sorry, how you hold on a sec. I'm missing how much junk someone accumulates over the years. Maybe I should throw some of this old stuff out, huh? Here it is. It's yours, detective. Oh my god, she's right in the cupboard. Oh, hey, no one I recognize that brother you brought by. It's the same girl, an idol named Ruby. Raina. No, Ruby, see? It says it's all right here on the cover. Pretty crazy that it was still in my shop. Guess that means you're still looking for her. I wonder why we keep running into each other. Good luck, I guess. I don't buy it. You know, have a detective. You must have a pretty sharp nose. Ah, if you say so, Dice. Do you mind if I take this? Like I said, it's yours. About time, start getting rid of some of my old junk. Thank you. See you around, Ayumi. Take care, Dice. Well, I found it. Now we need to go back. <clears throat> hey, welcome back, detective. Is that my book I see in your hands? Guess I'm a little surprised. Since you tell me Reina is a mask bearer you talk about, that's hard to believe. Does it surprise you after all? It is she who you see in the dark, is it not? The dark, that's what the collective call it too. How did Reina get tied up in all of this? I only know that somehow. The girl's pat and the mask collide as if by chance. What circumstance led to this intersection are a mystery, I'm afraid. People always see history as something in the distant past involving old men in black and white pictures. But that book and the girl are as much a part of history as the rest. Mm -hmm. The threads that connect the past to the present and people to each other are not always apparent. But peel back the layers of connection and the randomness about universe neatly orders itself. A teen idol, an ancient order, the two they created, and the detective who holds it now all forming a neat and tidy line. Right now with some sort of idol living in Tokyo, not part of a sleeper cell of some cult. It doesn't add up. On that detective, we can agree. So why don't we start at the beginning? To how the mass seems to be a mere option. The story starts in ancient times in the year 1933. At that time, Kamakura was the capital of Japan, led by the Hojo clan. It was a time of peace, prosperity, and enlightenment. Peace among men is cyclical. And like so many before them, and so many after, bad time of peace came to an end. The Nita clan, loyal to Emperor Go Daigo, led, led a siege against the Hojo controlled Kamakura, taking the city as the tide recede, leaving a key passage open to the invaders. The Hojo clan fled to the caves of their family temple. For them, there was no hope of victory or escape. They chose to retain their honor. Instead of surrendering, the 870 Hojo Samurai, including the last three regents, committed mass suicide. 
However, the Hojo and need to advance, employing their quest for empire. Could not see the role they play in the plans of another group, the religious sect known as the Kamenkai. It is said that in the flames of Kamakura, a girl was seen wandering the streets, observing the carnage of the burning city. A girl lost to the historians by the name of Chicago Shichizo, the last survivor of the Kamenkai. Okay, so whatever the Kamenkai were trying to do, they failed. I mean, they all died, right? No, they did not fail. Everything went exactly as planned. Chicago Shichizo did not survive by chance. She was chosen. Chosen for what? <clears throat> To receive the blessing of all the spiritual energy that so much dead afford to become the first mass bearer. Mass bearer. The Kamenka used the deaths of all those people to create this. Why? Legend has it, the Kamenka is sought to contain the door. A rift reeling, a rift leading to the spiritual realm. Where our consciousness ceases to be and time holds no meaning. A place where cause and effect could be changed. Why? Why spend so much human life and give us so much to do that? To stop it from being abused. Imagine being able to see the world as a god so that the flow of time and the rules which govern our world are of no consequence. This is the power of the door. To a mortal mind, obsessed with the finality of death and meaningless accomplishments, such power would corrupt absolutely a power over death. So a dark place was created to obscure the door and hide it from mortal eyes, along with a tool to control and see within the darkness. It's true, Open. It sounds like a fairy tale, but it's true. Finding the door could be the key to bringing Tanaka back. Some doors, no matter how strong they call to us, are not meant to be open, and the Kamenkai willingly gave their lives to keep it that way. The mask opens the mind to all who come in contact with it, but it is intended for a spare. Using it to find the door may destroy you. Maybe you're right, but I could at least use it to find my way in the dark. Just like the collector said, the only thing I don't get is how Rena is connected to it. That is a mystery. As Mr. Kawana told me, the last known location of the mask was the Kamenka call only a few decades ago. Much was suppressed about the Kamenkai murder. The Kamenkai under Tokimasa. They existed. And then on March 4, 1996, they met their end. There were many theories that the police killed them during their raid of the compound or that someone within the cult had stabbed and murdered the others. Nothing but conjecture, I'm afraid. The real answer lies somewhere deep within police records, and though I remain curious, it is not something I have access to. Perhaps the best place to start is there. Finding out about the last days of the Kamenkai may help light your path to the truth, though I wonder if such an object bred from suffering can truly put an end to it. Is it you who can finally break this terrible cycle? I've spent a long time here, I'm so tired, fail detective. We can't do anything else here. We have to go back to the police station, it seems. Sitting there comfortably, the historian Yasuhisha casually laid out everything that I have been experiencing like he was reading it out of a book. A massive side, ancient groups, and a door to the spiritual realm. It sounds like a myth. An interesting story told to travelers in a bygone era. It's hard to believe it relates to Kazuki and Raina. I can't see it. The bridge between the Kamakura samurai and a young girl. They said Reina fit into the story. She is a mass bearer, but how? Yes, he's a collector. I thought he, I met, had met them when I entered their world and could start to understand how a friend. But my intuition as a detective tells me they're hiding something from me still. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I need to keep going. What day is it anyway? How long have I been chasing these leaks? Days, turn to night, the hours, 
leading to each other. Even the seasons don't seem to follow the natural order anymore. Everything is blurring together in my head. Maybe I should take my medication. Impossible as it seems. Following the old man's hunch is my best bet to finally understanding the mask. Even Takashi didn't know what happened to the Kameka and find the police report is that we've worn. A few weeks ago, it would have been easy to ask around pool of fire. It would be a bit more difficult now, I imagine. What's the worst that can happen? I should head to the police HQ and see what I can find. <coughs> Oh shit, you've gotta be kidding me. Funny, me and some of the other guy was just talking about you. As they practiced the other day. Specifically, we're taking bets as to how long it would be before you show your face here again. Shame, you're coming in here now. It cost me 10,000 yen. Not that it matters. Ever since you left, things are looking up for me. I won the last department candle tournament, and I've been enjoying my promotion. Oh yeah, thanks for the new office, by the way. I know non active duty cops are you in the other words in a lot of HQ right now, so what do you want? Okay. Oh man, this just gets better and better. Backing me for a favor, huh? Kinda figure you might someday. So what do you want me to do? You know, stick into the evidence lock or still gun back for you? I don't like it. I would do anything for you. The brass have already told everyone in the damn station to steer clear of you. You consider bad luck for people's careers. Oh, myself included. I suppose. Wouldn't expect anyone to do you any favor from here on out if I were you. And I'd rather not have people see us talking and thinking that and think that we're all friendly or something. Now get out before I have to call someone down. That's not to blow to the violence. Eh? Okay. Well, we can still go back to Asakusa. There has to be something else I can do. No, I'm not so sure. I'm surprised to see you back. How can I help you, Detective? The historian. What is he? I spoke to Yas. So he's uh, the historian. Good and Takashi. What is he? I don't understand your question. He's one of them. Them. Are you alright? Just an old man. What else would he be? No, Takashi. You have must have noticed. There's something off about it, like the collective. But no, not exactly like it. I'm not sure what he told you to schedule like this, but I have known him for years. He's a bit eccentric and too philosophical for his own good, but he's harmless. Uh, allow me to offer some advice. What are you feeling right now? It's not it. It's you. The more time I spend researching the Kameka in the past, the more I began to feel the war had gone mad, but it didn't. It continued to turn on its axis as it always does. It was me who became unhinged. You could always walk away, Detective Edo. Some mysteries aren't worth solving. The train police. I was told the dojo trains a lot of people in the police. That's right. I train many of them personally. Do you know Akira Taira, a detective from Tokyo HQ? Ah, yes. I know him quite well. A man with a great deal of innate talent in martial arts. Though that talent is obsessed somewhat by his how to be this brash personality. Brass is a very diplomatic way to put it. Sorry to put you on the spot, but Tyrus about the only usable link I've got left in the police parts. And the one person who's trying to stop me the most. Seeing as you trained on him all the time, I was hoping you might know something that would change his mind if you know what I mean. And you asked me to help you blackmail Tyre. Beyond the obvious reason why I wouldn't help you do that, I also happen to think it won't work. You may be surprised to hear this. But Detective Tyra actually lives a fairly straightforward life. His excess are nothing that would draw any scrutiny. Let's not among his fellow officers. I hear he's engaged to be married soon as well. 
Someone actually agreed to marry such slime, that poor girl. Yes, a very nice girl. Apparently, they're quite happy together. Oh, yeah? Let's see how long that lasts. May I ask what exactly Tyra did to you to make you feel so strong? That to me, huh? You should be asking him that ever since I started him. He's has always looked down on me and never missed a chance to remind me how he felt. I ignore him because I figured if I walk out and I'm in my promotion, that it will shut him up once and for all. You eventually got this promotion, I take it. Why well, did he shut up like you thought? No, he got worse. It started with him spreading rumors about me sleeping around HQ. Then there were for us complaints in my supervisor. He couldn't stand what I had won. It's all falling apart now though. He got my old job and every time I see him, he had that smug brain on his stupid face. But he's mocking me. So you hate the fact that, at least, it is mine. He was right. Something like that. Tara's not the first person to think a woman didn't deserve the promotion I got. But it's time a little extra when he ended up with my desk. Yes, I thought as much. You know, saying you think that brown nosing, one nice and lazy, good for nothing asshole actually deserves my spot, are you? No, I can't judge the inner workings of a police force, but from what I've heard, it certainly wouldn't be the first time an officer didn't earn their promotion, honestly. Often, I watch my students spy, and I always notice an interesting trend. You see, usually the outcomes of matches have nothing to do with their skill. Is there a moral at the end of this story? Patient here. You see, the Two students will face each other. But before they even draw their swords, they have decided the outcome. Students rank each other and themselves based on practice, their social status, their schools, or any number of things before they even enter my dojo. A student perceiving himself as strong will always be more relaxed. More ready to attack while the student who resign themselves to defeat desperately defends. It's not skill or merit that wins the battle, it's expectations. And you see where I'm going with this. I do, but I'm not sure if I like it. You're saying that unless I can break Tyra's perception of me, I keep losing, right? Exactly. <clears throat> For a man like Tyra who expects certain things from a woman, you have to fire him at every turn. But if I suck up to him and play the part, it might throw him off guard enough to, for me to win this far. Sounds about right. Very perceptive. Yeah, this should help. Sake. It's a gift. Wow, that's so flattering, but I barely even know you. I suppose, you know, to degrade myself to scum like Tyra, I could use a drink. It's not for you. It's for Tyra. Oh. And here I was. Thought you was. Yeah, I was thinking you were being nice. This is a very expensive brand. As a matter of fact, it's Tyra's favorite. Thank you for his promotion. Promotion? A promotion pistol. A promotion into my position. Think of it as a way to throw him off balance. You can't strike at his heart until he drops his card, after all. You know how to play the role he expects of you. I su suspect you know the type of woman he likes. Much as it pains me to admit that my work thanks for the sake. No, you are not going to drink it. I think you should do it. If you decide to drink it, then you... The only option left for you to do is to use violence. And I don't think that's a great choice here. Let's give this guy the goddamn thing. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm sorry. That's it, Edo. I've got enough of your. What? You heard it right, Tad. I'm sorry. You're a good detective, and I never did congratulate you on your promotion. Yeah, this is for you. Hey, I get it. So you think bribing me is gonna work, huh? Kanomichi? Is that a bottle of Kanomichi? No way, it sells out in weeks. Even my family rarely managed to get a bottle, and they knew the people to ask. How did you get it? That's not important. Consider it an apology for how I've treated you in the past. I present this to you as a way to formally hand over my old position to you. It's clearly in better hands now. Alright, but... Ido, sit up with it. It was fine. Just set up already. 
Okay, okay, I accept your apology. Yo, I didn't know you felt that way. I mean, in light of recent events, you know, it's long overdue. Guess with all the stress you've gone through, the delay is understandable. Glad you have finally learned to manage your emotions appropriately. Thank you for your kind words, Detective Tyra. Once I return to the department, I know I'll have much to learn from you. Hey, it's a little early, but that's tougher than you think. We don't even know if they will let you back on the force after the hearing. Yes, I suppose you're right, Detective. I shouldn't have spoken so brashly. <clears throat> you know, stop that, please. I always thought you would be a better cop if you listened to your fellow detectives a bit more. Suppose there's a lot you have to learn from me, eh? I know you're right, Detective Tara. I was so brash before. That's probably how I ended up here. Uh, yeah, no problem. Thanks for dropping this by, Edo. To tell you the truth, it's been a, a tough time for all of us. It's better to stick together. We're all on the same team after all, right? Maybe once you're back, me and you can partner up. One can only hope I'd be so lucky. Right, right. Look, I gotta get back to my office. You need anything else? Well, I was thinking, but I know. I couldn't possibly bother you. You're so busy. It's fine, I can handle it. Go on. <laughs> well, I know I shouldn't be, but I've been doing a little research. It's an unofficial capacity, you know. I was wondering if you could pull a file for me. You know, I can't give you access to the system. It's suspended and besides. It'll be against regulations and I guess if you stay on that side of the counter, I could get Ishibashi to help you. Don't think this means we're best friends or anything. It's just repayment for the Kendo Michi. No, thank you. But Tara, a detective error. I wouldn't want to impose on your busy schedule. Oh my god, look at her. Again, stand up. Sorry, I'm going back to my office. Look up the fight either at once. Lock the search curve to my where to my name. Got it? Yes, sir, of course. I'm in my new office all afternoon, so direct any calls there. Clear? Yes, sir. I think it's gone. Damn, I mean, I mean, I have twisted some guys around the finger before, but that was something else. Don't think it'll take long to get the office back if you can keep working that much. I mean, listen to me very closely. It's very important you train me how to do that for a professional purpose. Uh, I think you're alright on your own side. Oh, fine, be that way. Anyway, you've got to sign off. What do you want me to look up for you? On March 4, 1996, there was a raid on a compound belonging to a cult called the Kamenkai. I would like the official report plus anything else you can find on it. Wow, that's some heavy reading material. I get right on it, boss. Hmm, doesn't seem like there's much to go on here. Looks like there's only one file. Righto, I put it on a USB for you. So you can take it with you, just don't tell anyone. Here you go. Thanks, Saki, I owe you one. God. I'm kind of this thick probably now. My throat is kind of... <clears throat> it's kind of dry inside. You owe me more than one item, see? Oh, wow. Now you're going back to your apartment, right? Yep. You're going to plug the USB into your laptop and you might be able to figure something out. Something doesn't smell right. There's a right on a compound and all that's left is this lone debriefing that's an up. Not to mention so much of what is here is redacted. Officers arriving at the scene found 12 people dead on arrival, including Tokimasa and Ma's parents. Where the details about how they died? Not to mention the report itself was to almost a week after the result. Why aren't there any autopsy reports? Says here. Two children and one of the are believed missing. That must be Maya Takashi and their grandmother. Guess that means Takashi was telling the truth after all. So many people have been hiding in from me. It's almost a relief. Still, for such a short report, it raises a whole lot of questions. The list of the dead, the, their cause of death, if there were other survivors, what else they found, it's all lost. Even the location of the compound has been classified. 
All I know is that the mask was found in the middle of a pile of dead bodies. What the hell happened here? Why was it covered up? Yeah, there's just nothing there. It's way too short. The report is unclear, but it's obvious something terrible happened at the Kamenkai compound. No doubt the mass had a part to play in those 12 people's deaths, and one way or another, it found its way to Reina afterwards. She said she was searching for the door, which means okay, connection to it is no mere coincidence either. <coughs> The collector said the path in the dark would never reveal itself unless I understood the path. The report is a dead end for now, but give me another lead. A talent agency called Omega in Kabukicho. It's not a whole lot to go on, but maybe I find the connection I need to connect the dots. But now all I can do is go to Kabukicho and ask around. Taking them. So at least I can keep her sanity near average. The collector mentioned a talent agency by the name of Omega here in Kapakicha with ties to Reina. Unless there's a big sign advertising it, which I highly doubt, I need to ask around to find it. Based on the dragon motives and the general vibe around the building. I guess this place is no normal bar. Who knows how many other places around here the Yakuza have dipped their big bassin to? Prefects in uniform that I don't recognize, so I doubt they have a hard time recognizing me. The way they handle her is. It hardly looks like they're doing much police work. More than a few violations, probably past them if they know, but I wouldn't be surprised if someone slips them a bit of cash on the side to ignore them. Cops like that probably would give me any trouble. They definitely aren't going to blab to their superiors about seeing a cup of Dude, I don't wanna know you. Who, me? Yeah, you, unless you're hiding someone behind your back. Aren't you the detective whose place was over town a few weeks back? Yeah, that's it. How do I recognize you before? Like, I sent some information to come by NASA about her earlier. Maybe we should call it in. Hold on, that's your. You don't think that's a good idea? What are you talking about? I'm not risking my job over some nobody to take them. Yeah, well, going to HQ and you might be risking more than your job if you know what I mean. It was fine. Why should we stick our necks out when she hasn't even done anything wrong? I think only doesn't mean she can't walk around, does it? I'm with real. I doubt I need to remind you boy that what happens when you ruffle the wrong person, said HQ. You guys can't be serious. Look, I'm not saying we're arrested only. All you go to piss off the wrong person. I don't know how much more I'll visit it to be for you to get it. No one, not even the decision is what bring down her wrath. Especially right now, things are exactly unstable. Unstable ground around here since the Mifune family shakeup. Don't need a repair that officer. Oh no. Pack for promotion one day and then some anonymous tip comes in to HQ that owner has been selling a little dope on the side. You even got a gun to tie him to a crime scene. Yeah, a gun that's mysterious and gone missing from Memphis. You think that story is true? <coughs> Does it really matter if it is or not? Point is, he asked him a question around here. Now sit chill. Some police are. Uh, we are held hostage by some woman. Screw it, maybe you guys are right. Suppose if that guy from HQ asked him, we can say we didn't see any detective tonight. That's right, we didn't see you. And you definitely didn't talk to him. Got it? Yeah, got it. Banging on the street. He's in exactly this position to be in her. Huh? You mean at the bottom? Yeah, doesn't give us a whole lot of options. Feels like I'm always stuck between Ishkin and all the other ships going on around. I'm not sure which is worse, honestly. You read the papers, don't you, detective? You heard about the Mifune family, right? Yeah, I'm sure she has. That's all you need to say on the subject. You never know who's working for who's around here, so put a lid on it. Listen, detective, whatever you think we are, what do you think goes on around here? It isn't so simple as good cops and bad cops. Remember that. Cop control might not be perfect, but we do our best to keep the peace, right? Right. Right. Like Rio said, we 
we're trying our best. Those are gonna cause any trouble for us, and we'll return the favor by not letting HQ know about this. Hmm, that's plenty scarier than HQ out there. That's for sure. Why don't you move along, Detective? I think I'd do just that. Good luck, officers. So, if this cop is pretty popular, this already has a lot of customers. So, he's talking to some of the writers who give me a good idea of why to start the for Omega. Can I ask you something? Whoa, 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 I was it doing it. The uh, cop, right? Nope, you've got me wrong. I'm looking for a talent agency by the name of Omega. Why do you think I was a cop? Oof, all the cops that asked that many questions right off the bat. Well, and that. And your custom had me fooled. I'd have kept walking around like that. Oh, and got it. Some kind of performer, right? What are you doing? You're looking for a oh, make old, maybe guys to rush. You won't get any work from them. What well, a nice sweetheart. It just happened that I work for one of the best agencies, agencies in town. When all types of models, performers, actors, you name it. Even a mature woman. So I just yourself will have no problem finding work for us. And that is if you're fine with staying in custom. My lucky day. That's the spirit. Have a drink with me, baby. I can't decide. I'm, I'm sure I can't find work here for you in no time. But like I said, I'm looking for Omega. A friend of mine recommend them, so it'll be rude to not talk to them at least, right? If you ask me, your friend's got no taste. You shouldn't waste your time with those losers. <coughs> no one has ever seen, you know, seen their guys so around for months. What on the street is that they ran up, met a dead with the wrong people. You know what I mean. I know you didn't hear that from me. You know I am in one real charts, baby. Can I ask you something? Yeah, sure, you don't need my permission. You heard of an agency around here called Omega? Omega? No, that's the ring a bell. Why? What's it to you? I'm looking for a missing girl. Missing? Was she foreign? Working for a nightclub? Are we working for some of the other types of clubs? I don't remember asking your opinion, but only if you knew about the agency. I do answer the same. I don't know no Omega. Probably won't even find her. Won't find her even if I did. Girls goes missing all the time, Ronnie. Do you catch my drift? Care to be more specific? No, I don't. I don't think you delicate types could handle it. Let's just say that not everyone is as nice as the ladies in those places as I am and living at that. Stir the part with questions like that and you're bound to end up in trouble. So everyone help go ask someone else. Why is this guy back here again? Can I get out somehow? Ah, there are a lot of people again. Hello, can you spend me a minute? Whoa, how long have you been sitting there? I mean, I just got it. Why so chump? Sorry, uh, there was a big scared guy with a scar here yeah, a little before you. Yeah, finally not, but he made me feel a little uneasy. Kept asking me, I was, I was doing it. And if I want to go somewhere, have a drink with this one. Honestly, I've been waiting for a good moment to come down. And you made the right decision by staying put in, you asked me. Have you ever heard of a talent agency around here called Omega by Chance? Omega? No, never heard of it. I'm not sure not ever in this part of town. A friend of a friend invited me out here for a few drinks, but she hasn't shown her face yet. I'm starting to think of some sort of weird setup. Anyway, I still have some pride, so I'm not going to tuck my tail and run just yet. But I'm finding that agency one of you looking for, and if you see that, I'm, I'm sure I'll watch your back. Even you know anything about talent agency called Omega? I thought I heard they were basic. I didn't see. It's not like I'm asking you to take them there personally. What's the issue? You do know where you are, don't you? Omega ran up against some specific people on this club and they lost. We're going to take over. Order, I reckon quite the body count and don't plan big attitude. I'm not sure who you are working for, but if you come at a bit of a sensitive time, if I were you, I'd turn around and walk out the door. Hell, she probably killed him too. Kill who? Him, you know? Higashi, the owner of Omega. Everyone knew he owed the Mifune family a small fortune. The word on the street is that there's been a little spring cleaning of an ace lawyer with Jacobs. Do I need to swear it out for you? Good. I've already said too much. You should stop asking me around here. You never know who's listening.
Hi, can I ask you something? Hmm? About talent agency called Omega. You know anything? Alright, I take that as a no. Hi, do you know this area? What? I had a question about. What? Speak up. I can't hear you. The speaker's right there. You're gonna have to talk about it. I look King one the agency. I can't talk louder. <laughs> My throat hurts. I'm looking for a vacancy in what? No, uh, in what? I'm looking for information about Omega Talent Agency. Do you know anything? Whoa. I shouldn't shout things like that around here. Excuse me, Miss. We were hoping you might join us next door. I said an invitation from admirer. Besides, a much nicer venue than this town. Yeah, in fact, we'll be happy to escort you. Who are you? Who do you think? We're just businessmen doing our business. Sure, I go. Good answer, follow us. Welcome, come in. Let me introduce myself. I am Kasumi Mifune. I appreciate you coming by to talk. Hmm. A talk student gave me much of an option. The hell you think you are calling me a talk? I'm a businessman, you got that? Oh, I've got it alright, but don't think that dressing in a suit makes you any less of a talk. Say another one, you cop bitch. Enough, you say another one, and I'll make you wish you had it. Now get out, both of you. Yes, boss. My apologies. The quality of help you can find these days isn't quite up to the standard that it was in my father's time. Wild dogs can be difficult to train, but they will come around, even if I have to beat it into them. Sit down, relax. Can I get you a drink? No thanks. I see, then. Excuse me while I pull one for myself. Why don't we skip the small talk and you tell me why I'm here? I'm getting to that. It seems you're a woman who doesn't like to waste time. Good. As luck would have it, neither am I. Let's get right to it. A short while ago, a couple of men downstairs ran up. They tell me you, a cop, had walked past my bar and into one of my nightclubs. <clears throat> then I hear you've been sniffing around asking about one of my investments. Investment, you mean Omega? Smart girl. Tell me, I am an eater. Why is it that a cop is going around asking pointed questions like that? More curious still. Not just any cop, but a publicly shamed cop on leave. A shamed cop who has had a history. How did they word it? Ah, yes, a history of psychotic episodes. How do you know that? We all have friends, detected either. And when detectives are wandering around my part of the city, my friends tell me everything I want to know. Honestly, you don't seem that all that crazy to me. As to why you're after Omega, let's say you piqued my interest. Sorry, look at us. You said no small talk, and here we are. <clears throat> off in the bushes somewhere. Let's get back on track, shall we? As you're not acting in any official capacity, it's safe to say that no one knows you here, correct? No, I suppose I don't. Hmm. In your position, I might have tried to lie, but I appreciate the honesty. It was a rhetorical question, anyway. I know for a fact that there's no one coming for you. Funny, you don't strike me as a stupid type, and yet you have willingly entering a den of vipers. If you value your neck staying on your shoulder, sure you shouldn't do something so reckless. You can skip the cracks. If you want to do something to me, you would have done it already. Plus, you're smart enough to know not to hurt a cop, even one in my position. Uh huh, good, I like you. Given your prickly demeanor, I doubt you're working with one of my competitors, and you are definitely not here for your police buddies. Okay, I gave up. I have to know what exactly is it you want to know about Omega. I'm looking for this girl. Her name is Brainer. I was told she was involved with the agency somehow. I want to know how, know what happened to her. How very noble of you. Figuring that out might be a bit difficult as I'm afraid Omega is an extremely recent acquisition. To get back farther, you will have to talk to its president and former owner, a man named Aichi Higashi. And I said, so happens that makes two of us would like to have a word with him. Like peace in a pile, us two. Unfortunately, when he handed over the business, he became a bit, how should I put it, forgetful about his outstanding debts to us. And the, and the poor thing is so scared. I mean, he's ignoring all my calls, probably thinking I'd do something awful to him if I found him. 
I can't imagine how he would get that idea, can you? Maybe he would prefer talking to a police officer instead of talking to me. I'm not some green recruit. I know how this works by now. What's the catch? And never tell me where he was and send me on my way for nothing. Of course I wouldn't. You will have to prove that you can be trusted first. There's someone else I need you to talk with. I'm better. Have a softer target than Higashi. P pretty good deal, 